Hello, in this Dart programming video, we are going to look at bitwise operators. So bitwise operators, they, you know, run on a binary bit level. So when I say binary, I mean like, you know, the bits that form, you know, a value, for example. So if I was to do, so the first one, let's create a couple of numbers. Let's do num1 equals 55. Again, they can be anything like num2 equals 127, for example. And if I was to do the first operation, which is bitwise and, which is just a single ampersand. So if I was to print out num1 ampersand num2 and run this, let's see what we get. We get 55. Okay, so you're thinking, you know, what's happened? Why is it 55? Why is it 127? So what it does, it operates on a binary level. So if we were to put these two numbers in binary, so if I do 128, uh, I'll do a comment for 128, 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. And now the binary for 55 will be 0, 0, 1, 1. So we're at 48, 0, 1, 1, and 1. And then for num2, it would be 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1. Okay, so what it does, it goes through this. Um, so I put a bunch of dashes. And because it's and, both of the bits have to be on. So it checks. Are the bits on? So we'll... So it's 1, 1, which is 1, 1, 1, which is 1, 1, 1, which is 1. This will be 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. It will be 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. As you can see, hence why it's resulting back in the original value. But if I were to change this to something like 78, for example, and run it, we get 6. And the reason we get 6 is because... Uh, this which is 55 this which is going to be net 78 so this would be zero this would also be zero so we're at 64 72 and this would also be zero so it goes through all of this and it says one and zero is zero because both of them have to be on hence the and one and one which is one one and one which is one so if it's, these are both off i mean one of these are off so it's zero one of these is off zero same with this one, same with this one. Hence why you just get four, two, and six. That's what the bitwise and does. And the next one I'm gonna show you is bitwise or. And the or is just a single vertical pipe. I think you can guess what this one does. It just does an or operation. Hence why we get 127. Either one of them can be on. So this would result in one. They're both one, so that's fine. Still one. One of them done, that's fine. One, one, and one. And this will remain zero because they're both zero. So if we run it, I mean, like if we were to, you know, just go through it, we get 64 plus 32, 96, plus 16, which is 112, 120, 124, 126, 127. That's the bitwise all. Next operation I'm going to show you is the bitwise XOR and this is exclusive or it's the little carrot symbol which is above the six on most keyboards so press shift and press that key and this means only one of the bits can be on for the resulting value to be you know one so for this this resulting one because both of them are, are one this will be zero same with this one both one of them is on that's fine one 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 so we should get 64, 96, 112, 120. We should get 121 with the bitwise exclusive or. The next one I'm going to show you is the slightly different. It's the bitwise not. And this is just the little tilde. 
and if I was print out, you'd, you'd only take one parameter. So if I do num1 and I do the tilde and I run that, what has that done? Let's have a look. Mm. Let's have a look at what's happened over here because the bitwise knot is meant to just flip it. It's meant to flip all of the bits. So all of these flip in the the one should become zero, the zero should become ones. Why has that happened? That is very strange. Let's try number two. Again, the same result again. Let me try one last thing. So I'll put these in brackets. Okay, I'm gonna have to have a look into that. Why that you know is producing that result? Because realistically, the bit was not. I'll comment it out. I'll look into it and I'll you know provide it in the description what's happening. But that should just reverse the bits. That's literally all it should do. And let's have a look at the next operation, which is left shift. So left shift. And this is two angle brackets to the left. So if we have got this one, this is pretty easy. And if we do print num1, num2, we get a value. Let's try something else. So we get true and false. So the left and right, so the left shift shifts the binary representation bits to the left and, sh and it results in shifting in zeros from the right the right shift it basically shifts you know the binary representation to the right and it discards any bits that are shifted off and obviously you can assign this to some sort of numerical value some sort of integer and that's what you could print out so let me just show you it should be single angle bracket right about there and if we do right shift And you know, simple as pie. So that's it for the bitwise operators. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.